Hello and welcome to a new vlog. I'm Rebecca and I run a small paint making business and this is week five of my new studio vlog series where I'm showing some behind the scenes day to day things of running my little business and also some other little snippets of my week. So in this week's vlog I go on a few nature walks to try and get more exercise in because I've put a few pounds on in weight and I'm also creating a sticker, a little freebie sticker to give to my customers. So I'm starting from scratch doing the painting and then going right through the full process of how I make the sticker which is really really cute. I was really pleased with it. So I hope you'll enjoy the vlog and if you do please give me a like rating and leave a comment if possible because it really helps let YouTube know that you've enjoyed the video and YouTube will show my video to more people so I really appreciate it if you could give me a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. sausage rolls and some of these twisty things so it's like a I'm not sure what it's made of I think it's like a kind of twisty flaky pastry with some icing on no it's not a flaky pastry yet. I've just had a bite and it's more of like a donut yeah, quite nice So I'm finally getting around to doing my 
Toad Stool painting. So it's been a couple of weeks since I drew the Toad Stool, but I've been that busy with doing the vlogs and learning all kinds of new stuff about that that it's taken up a lot of my time. So this vlog's probably going to be more of an arty vlog. I'm going to be doing more like in the craft room. I'm glad I put my wellies on. So yesterday my food was really rubbish. I had those sausage rolls that I'd got from Greg's. I ended up eating two of those. So I had one and then I had another one. I kept going back throughout the day and cutting little bits off it so I ended up eating two in total and then last night I was really craving for sweets and stuff so I went to the shop which I don't normally do if there's nothing in the house I don't go out in the car to the shop but I did and I got quite a lot of sweets I got a full bag of crisp not a, like a family size large bag but one of those like grab bags they call them probably the double the size of a normal pack of crisps so I ate one of them and I ate this long fizzy Vimto tube thing which are really for kids they're like sour I don't know what it is but since having the gastric bypass I love sour sweets I ate all of that and it was quite long I also ate one of those 
in other races with bars you get two sticks I ate that and I also bought a packet of midget gems and I ate a handful of them not many just a few of those um, so yeah that was that was over about two or three hours just watching the telly last night just like munching away on all that so I don't do that very often but <clears throat> I'm really gonna have to be careful. Just I think everything I ate yesterday was just rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I can't even remember what other food I ate other than them sausage rolls. But I must have had something else. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd had a Chinese a um, couple of days ago and there was still some of the rice in the fridge. Singapore fried rice. So I had a portion of that. So I suppose it wasn't a lot of food but it was all really, really crap food. So I've kind of walked over there, down, down there, down that pathway there, and then I just walk right around the perimeter. And it's around 4,000 steps, but it's a nice walk just to do daily. This is the like kind of wasteland. It used to be a factory. So this is obviously where the buildings were. There's just loads of big concrete patches. And um, there's not really many people come here. A few dog walkers, but there's never anybody here in the rain. So I actually like coming here when it's raining. And um, walk up over the hills there, there's pathways. I think next time I come I'm gonna explore over there, over that hill. Believe it or not, that's actually the sea, just above that grass. It's so cloudy today, the sea is just blending in with the clouds, with the sky. Don't these look lovely against the red brick? Looks so nice. The colour contrast is just beautiful. So I'm trying to get more protein in my diet, so I'm going to have a protein shake. I'm going to try this. This is a plant-based protein powder because the other protein powder, the whey powder, because it's made from milk, it doesn't really agree with me. So this is a plant-based one I'm going to try. I've got the chocolate flavour, so I'm going to make one of these and hope it's nice. And I'm going to have it with some almond milk. So I hope it's got a little scoop in so I'll know how much to put in. So it says for each um, portion is 24 grams of protein, so that's good. Okay. It smells nice and chocolatey. So I'm not going to measure this, but I think I'll kind of guess what 300 mils is. Actually smells really nice. I think it's made from peas. Pea protein, rice protein, cocoa powder and flavouring and sweetener. It's got cinnamon in, I don't like cinnamon. Okay. 
Oh my god, that is really sweet. It doesn't. I think I could manage it. I, I think I would just make it with water. I'm gonna make it with water next time because that was actually sweetened almond milk. It's not vile, it's just too sweet. And it has got a bit of a weird taste, but I'll be able to drink that. I'll try it with unsweetened almond milk and it might not be as sweet. lapel microphone it's gonna have to go back it's really really crap it keeps switching itself off i keep having to repair it and i have recharged it i thought it maybe just needed charged up so i fully charged it and then still the same problem so today when i went for a walk it just kept switching itself off and i kept switching it back on and strangely enough when it was switched on those parts there was no sound recorded at all it was when it switched itself back off and then went back to the phone's own microphone that's where i had sound but it was obviously windy so basically this doesn't work i've got a customer who can't decide what gold color to get so i'm gonna make her some swatches of all my different golds so she can compare them and then choose one so I've got a full set of different golds and I've got a couple of golds in the metal set and then I've got quite a few golds that don't belong to sets. I can barely see what I'm doing. I've just had a diabetic eye screening test and so I've got to wear dark glasses so it's really hard to see what I'm doing at the moment.
such a large variety of different golds. Some of them are much less saturated, like the pale gold and the gold iridescence. And some of them are really highly saturated, and some of them are much more shiny than others. So that pale gold, it's a much more subtle shine than compared to the yellow gold right next to it, which is really foily. Now the pale gold's really popular gold. It's by Crema Pigments, and I tried to match that one by making my own recipe of gold. So if you look at the brassé, it's almost identical in colour. Um, but the brassé is actually more shiny than the pale gold. I think a, pe a lot of people like the pale gold because it's more subtle. So I've got loads of lovely comments on my video again last week. Thanks so much for everybody who's left lovely comments. It's so encouraging when people say they can't wait to see the next vlog. Yeah, so I'm just going to answer some comments now. I absolutely love this stuff. I don't know what it is, but it grows on the walls and it's just these like little lilac flowers. It's so nice. on a lovely walk evening walk so over there that land that you can see over the sea that's Scotland and then further over that way look at that beautiful sunset there's another landmass and that is the Isle of Man These masses of pink flowers, absolutely beautiful, and plenty of bees buzzing as well. Having a right good time, aren't they? Actually three now. Enjoying the cells. I think that's a wasp, that little one. this path here then I'll walk up which is quite steep but that gets me heart pumping so that's good and then I'll go all the way across the top path back home and it, I think it's about 8,000 steps so it's a bit of a longer walk today and a bit of a hill climb in the middle which is good
love it down here, it's always pretty quiet. Okay, so now up this hill and I'll be absolutely out of breath, probably about halfway up, but at least I can make it without stopping. I used to walk up this before I lost my weight and I would have to stop like two or three times to catch my breath. Okay, at the top, absolutely out of breath. So my new microphones have arrived, hopefully these will be a lot better, it feels so much heavier, so I'm presuming it's going to be something good quality, oh yeah and it's in a nice high quality box. It's quite heavy so it's this is a, um, a little charging case as well. Little wind mufflers and just some accessories. You've got a couple of little wind mufflers, some little wires, probably for charging. So they've probably already got some charge. So this is the little microphones, a little clip there. And then this must be the little receiver. There's a little screen on the front. So every time I talk, yeah, there's like a little noise symbol thing. It shows you how much battery power there is. I'm guessing these little things are probably, probably gonna attach the receiver to your phone maybe, but I'm going to have to read the instructions. So the other ones that were really expensive, they were £220, they'd been recommended by other YouTubers that looked very similar to this. It was in a charging case, but like this was less than half the price and it had lots of good reviews. I think it had well over a thousand reviews and four and a half stars. So I've got my little toad steel paint finished and I'm going to scan it in and try and make a sticker, a little sticker, just to go into my orders. So I've just printed out a little draft version and then I'm going to cut them on the silhouette and see if the cut marks are in the right place. I think that's gonna be okay. 
yeah, I think I'll leave them at that. You sometimes have to make alterations, but it'll just be a cute little sticker. Oh yeah, they've turned out really well. Yeah, I'm really pleased with them. The colours look absolutely amazing. So it hasn't really cut right through. So the next sheet I print, I'll have to make the cut a little bit deeper. It's okay, they are popping out with a little bit of pressure, but ideally this should just peel off and they should be completely cut out really well. Okay, second attempt. Oh, oh this one's probably cut right through. Okay, let's see if it works. So it's definitely cut far enough where it might have cut too far. I don't want, yeah. If you look at the back, you can see it's cut, not completely, but it has cut into the back. So that was a little bit too strong. I'll try again. Okay, third attempt. No, oh, it's still gone through a little bit, or it might not be as bad. Almost perfect. Here we go, so that's all of those made. Really pleased with them. Okay, so there I've got my little order packing station, just ready to put in the orders. It's just a little extra free gift. And I just I think they're really cute. So this is what they look like. Oh my God, how cute are they? 